93 WIPC Mobile News. On the level, on the go. He signed the COVID relief bill. With your Alexa Flash Briefing, I'm Kurt Darling. Why the president is getting both praise and criticism from one of your Democrat lawmakers, Chris Davis reports. It's because of the stimulus bill that President Trump signed Sunday. This is the bill that will likely give you $600 in a direct payment for some relief. Congressman Andre Carson says that he is happy that the president signed the bill on Sunday, but he says if the president had signed it sooner, then Congress could already be at work on some additional relief. Chris Davis, 93 WIBC Mobile News. 35 new deaths from coronavirus in Indiana have brought the total number of Hoosiers who have died from the virus to just shy of 7,500. The reporting of deaths in Indiana has slowed in the last week, but experts likely attribute that to slow reporting from the holiday weekend. Bald eagles are doing well in the state, so well that Allison Gillette, a biologist with the DNR, says they have taken the bald eagle off of the state's list of animal species of special concern. We don't need to monitor them as closely as we used to because the bald eagle population is soaring, literally soaring. She says there are over 350 known bald eagle nests throughout the state. That's way up compared to less than 10 in the late 1970s. A vote of no confidence in the president of the University of Evansville, that coming from the school's faculty senate over the weekend. They voted unanimously, with a few abstentions, that they have no confidence in President Christopher Petruskevich to lead the school. The vote is a response to school leaders proposing drastic cuts of late, which would get rid of three departments and lay off around 40 faculty members. Police say they believe they know who carried out the bombing in Nashville, Tennessee on Christmas Day. Authorities confirming the suspect in this case, Anthony Warner, was killed in that RV explosion, and they also say they've been able to positively match his DNA to those human remains that were found at that massive explosion site. Once they knew a name, officials say they were able to positively identify Warner by comparing those remains to his personal belongings and to the DNA of relatives. Fox's Charles Watson. The Indiana Pacers have won three in a row to open their 2021 campaign under new head coach Nate Bjorkren. The blue and gold upended the Boston Celtics last night, 108-107. to They have the Celtics again tonight. The Indianapolis Colts need some help to make the playoffs. You know, we no longer control our own destiny. Um, but all we can do is take care of our own business. Head coach Frank Reich, with their loss to the Pittsburgh Steelers on Sunday, they are on the outside looking in of the NFL playoffs. It's a must-win situation against the Jacksonville Jaguars on Sunday, but they also need just one of either the Ravens, Dolphins, Browns, or Titans to lose in order to secure a spot in the playoffs. WYBC's flash briefings are updated throughout the day, so you can always check for the latest local news. You can also rejoin us in the car at 93.1 FM to stay on on top of the latest traffic alerts, weather, and news. I'm Kurt Darling on the level, on the go, and on Twitter at 93WYBC and WYBC.com.